guys, it's Erica. Welcome back to my channel. It's Monday today and I thought it would be fun to start vlogging my week and share with you what I do as an NYU graduate student. But it's already 8 p.m. today. It's off to a great start, but I think I'm still gonna vlog it as much as I can. I may not post anything, but let's see what happens. So for today, I woke up early and did some emails and did this homework, which I did like a survey and some research and hang out with my roommate. Right now, I just finished registering courses for the next semester, spring 2022. But course registrations are always so competitive. In my master's program, we can only take four electives. So I really have to be strategic about it and focus on what I want to focus on. And I'm going to share with you a little bit about my program. I'm a master's student at Integrated Design and Media, NYU Tandon School of Engineering. That's a long name and I'm focusing on UX design research. In this program you have to take four electives and four required courses and a thesis and currently I'm halfway through the first semester and for this semester I'm taking two required classes which are creative coding and ideation and prototyping. In creative coding we do some front-end um, creative coding with p5.js and arduino and ideation and prototyping is really related to ux design research so it's really helping me build a portfolio and for my elective i'm taking this class called interaction design studio which i can just explore whatever interactive thing I want. So currently I'm working on researching and designing a new app. And for the next semester that I just finished registering for, I'm planning to take one required course, which is media theory and two electives, which I'm still kind of deciding between. One is UX design, which I really want to take. And it also puts focus on accessibility, which I really want to dig deeper into. So I really want to take that, but I'm on a wait list. I'm like, fifth position on the wait list, so I'm still hoping that I'm gonna get in. And for another elective, I'm thinking of taking either an accessibility course or an AR course, which I've never touched on. So I have no idea what it's gonna look like or how hard designing AR is gonna be, but I really wanna explore that field. So I'm still thinking of taking that class and yeah, that's it. So at IDM, you can really curate your own path and explore your interest. It has so many fun electives that four semesters is not enough to explore all of your interests. There's this class called Amusement Parks, which I really, really wanted to take because I'm obsessed with Disneyland, but it had like a huge wait list. So I think I'm gonna either take it next semester if they decide to offer it next semester, or I may not be able to take it because I really want to focus on UX design research. And if you have any questions about my program, I would love to answer them. Um, with my own perspectives and my own experiences. But yeah, now I'm gonna work on another homework and hopefully I won't forget to vlog tomorrow. Good morning, it's Tuesday today, it's about 10 a.m. I woke up, made this coffee, and put a little makeup on. On Tuesdays, I usually have two classes, but my earlier class is not having any in-person class today. Instead, all students are gonna have like a one-on-one -on -one meeting with a professor to discuss their final project. So I have that meeting coming up in like 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go over the paper that I made one more time and after the meeting, I'm gonna work on this Arduino homework and head over to my friend's place to work on this homework together. And then I'm gonna work on something for my evening class and I have my evening class. So yeah, today's gonna to be a busy day of schoolwork. Hi, good morning. Research and create like a interactive prototype.
lunch, did some homework, and got ready. And now I'm gonna head to my friend's place to hang out and do some homework. But after lunch, I pretty much finished all the homework. So I think I'm just gonna work on some materials for the evening class. And I heard it's about like five degrees Celsius outside. So I'm wearing a thick coat and some scarf. And I'm gonna wear some black boots. So even though my roommate and I can't really have Christmas tree or any kind of cute Christmas decorations, I really wanted to feel the Christmas spirit. So I got these cute little goodies from Crate and Barrel in Soho. Look at these cute little ornaments. I have this little Santa and this uh, really cute man with a ton of mustache and this candle Christmas tree and the sloth. Sloths are one of my favorite animals and look how cute this guy is. And I got my favorite candle ever from Anthropology. It smells like Christmas tree. So this candle and this tree shaped candle that doesn't have any smell makes a perfect Christmas tree. And I got some Bath and Body Works candle um, stand, which is really cute. So this is my little Christmas corner. But yeah, I really need to head out now, so I'll see you later. So I just finished class and my friends and I had like a little cute late night dinner at this Korean restaurant and we had soju and some but yeah I had a really productive eventful Tuesday which was really nice and hanging out with many of my friends from school so it was really fun. Now I'm heading back home and just go to bed. Good morning, it's Thursday today. I woke up early and I've been sitting here reading through my emails, sipping my tea instead of coffee, which never happens, but I'm just trying to lower my coffee intake because I'm planning to go to the coffee shop today. And it really upsets my stomach and disturbs my sleep schedule when I drink too much coffee. So I'm sipping my favorite tea, Earl Grey, and my favorite mug, which my mom gave me right before I moved here. It's a Berlay mug. But yeah, it's Thursday today. I didn't get to film much yesterday because it was just a boring work day mostly. And today's also gonna be a boring work day. But I woke up early, so I am planning to go to the gym today for the first time in forever because I've been putting it off so much. But as NYU students, we all get to use the gym for free. So 
why not take advantage of it? And I love going to the gym. I used to at least. And I know it's gonna make me feel really good afterwards, but I've been just lazy. But today I'm definitely going and I'm just gonna get some work done afterwards. I finally changed into my workout clothes and it's my first time going to the NYU gym and I remember college gym being really low-key and everyone's wearing like baggy t-shirt and sweatpants or whatever but I just really needed some motivation so I'm wearing this Gymshark Whitney Simmons tank top which is really cute and my favorite workout jacket by Lululemon and I'm gonna make some protein and get... really good and I'm 100% sure that I'm gonna be really sore tomorrow so I'm excited for that but now I'm heading to the library to work on my finals and my portfolio so So I couldn't really focus at the library and I was really hungry after a workout. So I ordered sweet green cauliflower salad, which I heard was really good, but I have like 30 minutes until my pickup time. So I think I'm gonna go to the Target and pick up my salad. I had a bit of a slow morning and it's already afternoon, but on my agenda today, I have a lot of items to ship and to return. So I'm gonna do that. I've been putting it off for so long. So finally, today's the day I'm gonna do that. So I have to go to UPS, FedEx, and I have some items that I wanna return and store. So I'm gonna go to Soho and do a little bit of shopping and I'm also bringing my laptop because I want to go to a cafe and get some work done. updated my little Christmas corner. It's looking a bit busy around here, so I'm still thinking about the placements. But I got these little shiny pine cones today at Crate and Barrel. They're only like a dollar and fifty cents, and they're supposed to be like a Christmas tree ornaments. 
so they had little gold strings on them but I cut them off so they can sit on this flat surface and I also got this ceramic Christmas tree that lights up apparently <gasps> oh my gosh that is so cute I feel like it looks prettier in person but all the lights looks like little yummy candies It is early Saturday morning. I just woke up and changed and made some coffee. Today I just have a dinner plan with friends from back home. We're going to Sushi Omakase, which I'm really, really excited about. I haven't had sushi since I moved here, so I really miss it and I hope it's gonna be good. And today I'm also gonna make a plenty of veggie soup. Ever since I moved here, it's been a habit of mine to cook like a pot full of food that will last me a week or two and eat that almost every day with like rice or bread or like a salad for the rest of the week. So far I make curry or stew, like soup because it's been a bit hard and unmotivating to cook just for myself for one meal. So yeah, today I'm gonna make a plenty of veggie soup and I have a lot of work to do, so let's hope this weekend goes well. So these are all the ingredients that I'm gonna make my veggie soup with. So yeah, let's get cooking. So I finished chopping up all the veggies and look how many there is. I'm scared if everything's gonna fit in the pan. So I added diced tomatoes and a whole bag of kale and chicken and it's looking really good now. And now I'm just gonna add broth. So the soup is done, it's looking really really good. I ended up adding a little bit of curry powder and a bit of consomme. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's like just this one. And now it tastes really, really good. After like 45 minutes of cooking, I'm finally done. It's my soup. Okay, let me show you. I added some pepper and extra virgin olive oil. It tastes really good. And my Trader Joe's Ezekiel bread. So this is my lunch. Got ready for a night out. I put my face on, my outfit on. I still haven't done my hair, but it's gonna be freezing cold outside. So I'm gonna be wearing like a puffer jacket on top of this. But I'm wearing the Zara leather blazer on top of this Abercrombie blouse. And these are also from Zara. They're like high-waisted trousers in green. I feel like green trousers and leather blazers are so in trend right now. And I'm a basic girl, so I had to get them, and I really love them. I feel like this is like classic New York style. So yeah, I'm excited to go out and eat sushi. And I also wanted to show you my makeup because I used my brand new eyeshadow palette that I got during the Sephora sale for the first time. I used this Natasha Denona Mini Star Palette. I used all the colors. I think this palette is so beautiful. It has really nice sparkly shades and matte dark shade and this really beautiful metallic brown or bluish shade that looks really natural when you put it on and this really nice transition shade. So I really like this palette. <laughs> Remember we came here? Remember we came here? 
10 seconds. I'm gonna play some music to bring some more white people over here. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh